Hi, uh, this is uh, Sudhil again. We are yet at another site where we have installed a rooftop solar uh, PV system. Uh, this is a slightly unique site, a little different from the other sites which you have seen before. So, it's again, it's a conventional on-grid system using microinverter. But on this system or rather in this uh, project, I want to stress a little bit about the structure and the structure design. This is also an uh, agrovoltaic system. Uh, just to give a brief of the system, this is a... a on-grid system using microinverter. We have used bifacial panels of uh, Adani make and IQ7A series of uh, N-phase microinverters. And uh, this is nine panels of uh, 525 watt peak each. So it comes to around 4.7 kilowatt peak system. And as usual, we have a walkway to clear, clean the panels. And uh, the beauty, rather the uniqueness of this particular system or this installation is this is an integrated structure. For example, the, the frame here, the frame which we have installed, supports the solar panels. And as I've told in many, many uh, posts before, solar panels just don't generate solar energy. This is also an excellent catchment for rainwater. So you can see here, this water which falls on the, on the panels gets into this gutter. Like this, we, on the other bay also we have a gutter. So the rainwater falls on this gutter and the water is channelized into that rain barrel. So that stores the water which falls, falls on this solar panel and this is connected into the house for all uh, uses. This entire structure actually spanning over two bays is supported using uh, rafters and columns and the columns are not actually anchored on the roof. This entire structure is designed to stand on its self way. I'll explain to you once we go down and as I told you, it's an integrated structure. So there is a harvesting of the solar energy, harvesting of the rainwater, and plus there are some plants below. We will just go down and show it to you. There are some plants which are actually uh, grown below the solar panels. It is uh, vaguely called an agrivoltaic or an agrovoltaic uh, system. We will go below the solar panels now and just take a small tour around the place. So as I mentioned, this is also an agrovoltaic kind of a system. So you can see there are some plants which are growing right below the solar panels. I have shown you in previous uh, videos many kinds of vegetables which can be grown below the solar panels. Here we have got uh, corn, we have got cauliflower, we have got, uh, this is called dill in Hindi. In Kannada we call sapsige sapu. And uh, this is an open area here and the entire, entire area here is painted white. The white surface has many advantages. There's an uh, exclusive video about uh, painting the roof white, but uh, painting it white gives a higher albedo. Albedo is what's called a reflected light. So this reflected light is picked up from the rear side of the panels. Okay, on the rear side of the panels also there are some uh, solar cells. This essentially picks up the reflected light and increases the overall efficiency. So there is enough and more uh, room here to actually walk around. And you know, if one wants, we can, uh, you can put some plants and uh, some, some more plants can be accommodated here. Of course, there are some books, I think in the near future we'll have more plants here. And this entire C section here is for gardening. So you can see here, you can, you can, this entire, entire uh, C section here, from there all the way, the entire periphery is covered with greenery. So another uh, feature about the structure is, these are the uh, columns on which the frame and, uh, frame and even these, uh, uh, pots are mounted and this is not anchored onto the roof. This is actually just placed. So this is holding out by friction and self weight. Of course, for preventing water to touch this, we have put an epoxy and there is a white paint also, but there is no cutting, no drilling. So uh, this roof has not been disturbed. So roof is as it is. And the entire structure is actually standing by a uh, self weight. So this is the yet another side of the uh, of the structure. So as I told you from the top, these are two uh, gutters on on the either side. So the rainwater which falls on the solar panels gets into those gutters and they uh, get collected into this tank. A small uh, rudimentary filtration is given here on on, on this side so that uh, the first few minutes of rain can be just uh, taken outside. So after this column of water fills up the water gets stored in this tank. 
So the water stored in this tank is connected into the house and they use it for all purposes. So actually uh, we had a rain yesterday night, which was I was told. So this is the water which has been actually collected from the solar panels uh, from yesterday's, yesterday's rain. So this is the rain water. So good clean sweet water. The rain water is the, is the cleanest source of water. Sky is just last night. Nice. So this is the entire structure. So there is a solar panel which harvests solar energy. Solar panels also harvest rainwater. Below the solar panels, we have got this uh, complete uh, C section, which is uh, having a uh, lot of plants. So many plants, many many daily use plants like pudina, like uh, dill, tomatoes, ladies' finger can be easily grown right below the uh, solar panels. So we have got enough space here just for an evening sit out and of course I, I mentioned to you the roof is painted white for two primary reasons. One is to keep the house cool thereby reducing the energy required inside the house in terms of cooling. Second is the reflected light gets picked up from the uh, rear side of the solar panels increasing the efficiency of it. So that's about this structure. There's a slight bit of uniqueness even in the ACDB. Uh, some new experiment which we have tried there. I will quickly run through at our ACDB which is housed near the electricity meter of the house. So this is about the structure. So this is the ACDB or the alternate current distribution board. I have done many videos on N phase and the features of N phase and the micro inverters. I'm not going to go in detail about the micro inverters or the, or the monitoring platform. This is the ACDB. As usual, we have a ELCB, a MCB, and a surge protection device. And uh, we also have a over voltage protection uh, relay. That is, if there is an over voltage from the grid, this relay is going to cut off and protect the micro inverters. Uh, what I want to stress here is generally, we do provide a SPD, surge protection device. Type 2 SPD is given in the ACDB. What happens is this, if it fails, there is no way in which the customer gets to know that there is a problem with the SPD. Okay. So as you see, uh, if this band turns to red, there is a failure. So now to alert the customer about the surge or the failure of a SPD, we have integrated a small buzzer. So now if the SPD actually gives way or the SPD burns or there is a problem in the SPD, it's going to give an alert. So I'll show it to you how it works. No, now I'll deliberately pull this out. So I'm taking out the SPD. Now there is a circuit is continuous. There is a connection to the uh, micros. Now I'm going to open this SPD. So now I'm going to... Now I've opened it. So there is, it's giving an alarm. So the circuit is off now. Okay, the circuit is off and it's giving a buzzer. So this way the customer now is alerted that there is a problem in the surge arrest. So I'm just going to put it back to, to stop this sound. So now once it is it is put back, the circuit is reconnected. So this is about the small experiment which we have tried at the ACDB. So this is about this particular site. This is uh, of the residence of Mr. Shivkumar located in Akshay Nagar, uh, Bangalore. So thanks for watching and thanks for the customer answer.